What's good everybody? I'm Billy Watts. We are back in the Triad Lab today and I'm going to bring you another Tri Custom build. This one has to be my favourite of all the favourites. As you may have guessed, it is my signature Billy Watts Complete. Now remember, the scooter does come assembled in the box. All you have to do is stick the handlebars on, tighten the clamp and you're good to go. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna take each part off individually, show you them all, sizes, everything like that. Now of course, we're gonna start with the deck. We'll grab it off the wall right here. So first of all, the size. This deck's gonna come 4.7 inches wide, which is 120 mil by 19.5 inches long, which is 495 mil. Got your angled back ends down here, so perfect for all your park tricks. Let's have a look at that full length graphic there. Hand drawn, I might add, which is pretty cool. I had a big say in pretty much every step of the way in designing this deck. We got the blood red color here, truly unique. And you might even be able to see, we have blue running on the inside here. The deck actually goes through four layers of paint to get to this final color. So on the inside, you're gonna have a little bit of blues, which adds a really nice effect. Now the neck tube is CNC'd and extruded, super strong. We've been testing this for a very long time. You can be assured that it's gonna stand up through all the beatings you can dish out. So now we do have sealed front ends on this deck. As you can see, really nice flush look. Now I have left the headset in here after taking it apart, so we won't have to put that in, but we do use a sealed and integrated headset with the highest of quality bearings you can get. Behold the grip tape. Tried Clearcast BW exclusive grip tape. It's all one sheet, just clear on the inside here, so no cutouts whatsoever, you just slap it straight on. All right, so we're gonna start on the back end of my scooter right here. I'll grab the trusty stand. All right, so first of all, we're gonna grab ourselves a brake. Now we're using the V2 two-in-one fend-off system here. So this is a brake and a fender in the one right here. So if you like to ride a fender, all you do, six mil Allen key bolt just at the bottom here, loosen this off. Take that bolt straight out just like that and boom, comes apart, two pieces. So you get your fender in this side and you have your brake portion right here. So if you wish to run the fender, just slide it straight in, good to go. Or if you want to run the brake, just leave it on as is. Bolt straight in the bottom here and tighten it back up. And we're gonna slide the brake in just like this. Now we do have a little notch on top of the deck that says 110 and 120. And what this is, is a two position brake hole. So depending on which type of wheels you're riding, which size wheels you're riding, is where you're gonna have your brake position. So for me, I'm gonna have it on the 110 mil slot. So me personally, I ride a brake myself. I love to do a lot of tap tricks, manuals, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna run the brake on mine. Next up on the back end, we're gonna grab ourselves a mini gridlock system. Boom. So here we have our mini gridlock system. And what this is, is an inbuilt spacer as well as a deck insert that is gonna have your axle go straight through. Nice and flush, just like that. Your axle's not gonna sit out on the side at all. It's gonna give you a nice flush look on the back and eliminates the use of those tricky little spaces that you have to fiddle around with. First off, gonna slide this one in just like that. Boom, goes in nice and flush. Now before we put the second one in, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the set of wheels. So for my signature complete, we actually came up with a new design of wheel. Of course, got my little signature right next to the Oath logo just there. We've got the lattice design in the wheels, so we've actually got a bunch of little rectangles and, and whatnot. The full graphic on the outside of the wheel, which is gonna match the bottom of the deck right there. Now this wheel is 24 mil in the core, it's 26 mil in the urethane. The wheel is 110 millimeters in height and has a high rebound urethane. So what this means is, get a little bit extra cushioning when landing those big tricks. And of course, we have the Oath Fidelity high speed bearings. So we're gonna slide the wheel straight in the back, just like this. Gonna grab the other gridlock system. That's gonna slot straight in this side for me. There we go. We're gonna line the wheel up. We're gonna grab the axle. Straight through this side. Boom. Tighten it up, boom, there you go. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do us for the back end of this scooter. We're gonna flip it on round. Here we go. So the forks that I chose to go with for my complete are a pair of HIC slash SES Oath Shadow forks. Because I'm running an oversized bar, of course, you need an SES slash HIC fork. And this is made out of 6061 T6 aluminium, so it's gonna be really strong. It's got a nice little shadow detail at the back here. Got some nice CNC work throughout it. 
Now this fork is compatible with wheels up to 125 mil in height and 28 mil in the core. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slide the forks straight up the neck tube, Boom, just like that. We're gonna grab the crown race, slip it straight over the top, and we're gonna grab the headset cap, straight over the top again, shim, followed by the pressure bolt, just like that. Boom. Now I'm gonna flip this upside down. We're gonna go ahead and put the front wheel straight in. Now to show you how simple this is, we're gonna put the axle straight in. We're gonna get the first spacer, just like that. We're gonna drop the wheel in. Axle is gonna go through the wheel and we're gonna get the second spacer and it's just gonna drop in, just like that. No, no fiddling needed on this one here. Really simple and straightforward. Now we do use six mil Allen keys for this. Now we're gonna flip the deck up and move on to the top portion of the scooter. Boom. All right, now we're gonna move on to the bars. So for my complete, I could have chose to run a pair of titanium bars, aluminium bars, steel bars. I had a big variety of options here. But in the end, I chose to go with a steel bar. And you might think that this is gonna make the scooter heavy, but that's where you're wrong. We actually do double butting on our bars. So what this means is, let me grab the Riot Chromo bars here. Now double butting means essentially that in this area right up here, where you're gonna need that, that bit of extra strength for the bending and whatnot, it's actually 25.4 mil thick right here. And then up here, where you're not gonna find any bending and warping and things like that, it's actually 22.2 mil there. Straight across here, across the tapered top tube that is gonna reduce flex but increase strength, it is 25.4 mil. And then just on the outskirts of the bar just here is 22.2 mil. So this way we've actually been able to make this bar well under one kilogram, but you're not gonna have any flex like you do with the titanium. And for me, when you're doing tricks like a, the throw double bar, it actually just sits there perfect, doesn't drop away from you. So when we come across this, this particular type of bar, I had to give it the green light on my scooter straight away. Now the bars come. 22 inches wide, which is 560 mil, by 23.6 inches high, which is 600 mil on the dot. Now we made this complete to be the perfect scooter for me, straight out of the box. I don't need to change anything whatsoever. So we wanted to make sure that all of you could ride the exact same scooter that I ride straight out of the box. So I'm roughly 172 centimeters tall. I like to do that park orientated style of riding. If that sounds like you, then go ahead, grab yourself one of these. It's gonna be the perfect setup for you. And of course, to tie in all the colors on the scooter, we're gonna have to go with a pair of grips that are gonna match. So we've gone with a pair of 165 mil Oath Bermuda grips. So you get your deep grooves on this, creates less sweaty hands, but it's gonna be really comfortable for you. They're 165 mil in length. You've got an Oath triangular pattern on the inside here, so it gives you a nice little indication of where you can be putting your hands on the bars. And of course, we have a pair of Oath TPE bar ends, which are gonna be super strong for you. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my trusty hairspray to put the grips on. Now remember, you don't have to do any of this. When you take this scooter out of the box, doing it just for the video. Go spray it just on the inside like that. Grab the bars and they're gonna slide straight on. That's a cool little tip. If you all wanna take your grips off nice and easy, you can use hairspray, you wanna put them on nice and easy. Spray a bit of hairspray on the inside, let them sit for 10 minutes, they'll dry up, they'll be good as gold. There we go, we're gonna grab the bar ends, knock those straight in just like that. Boom, good to go. Now it is super important to remember to ride bar ends in your scooter. You do not want to ride without bar ends as it can be very dangerous. If you ever fall, your bars go into your stomach or your leg or anything like that without bar ends, it can be very dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the second one on. I'm gonna grab the bar end, slide it straight in. Boom, we got our clamp. Now we're using a Oath V2 cage two bolt clamp. Of course. So we've got the nice cutouts on the side here. It's gonna reduce weight. It's actually been forged and cnc so it's gonna be super strong. So it's gonna be really durable. We've got nice little OAF logos at the front here. We've got some CNC work going on the back here. Gives it a nice little look. We've got a Cage V2 logo and a HIC 34.9 mil right there. Gives you a bit of detailing. And we're using six mil bolts for this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stick the bars straight onto the clamp. Boom. Now instead of having to stand over your scooter and try and make sure your bars are straight, we've actually come up with something that is pretty nifty. Right here we have a little notch on the fork, we have a little notch on the deck, 
and we've got a little notch on the clamp just down the bottom here and one on the bars as well. So what this is, is our triad alignment system. So this is gonna allow you to make it super easy for you to put your bars straight on, not have to stand over them and then kick that front wheel, trying to straighten them up. And just put it straight over the top, just like this. There we go. All right, I'm gonna line up the fork with the deck, the deck with the clamp and the clamp with the bars and we're good to go. It's gonna be nice and straight. I'm gonna get my six mil Allen key and we're gonna tighten the top one slightly. I'm gonna tighten the bottom one slightly. Making sure you do rotate between both bolts so you're not putting any unnecessary pressure on your bars. Now the scooter has been assembled. I'm gonna run over a few extra details on my complete right here. For example, this sucker weighs 3.35 kilos, which is 7.49 pounds. You got an 83 degree head tube angle on this right here. You got a slight concave on the deck, which gives you a really nice feeling. Of course, you got the double butted Triad Riot T-bars on it. You got your two in one fender, as mentioned before. You got your lightweight Oath Lattice 110 mil signature wheels. As you can imagine, it's been a long time, but for me to now have my own signature scooter is absolutely mind blowing to me. And this thing has helped me progress like never before. I actually jumped on this thing just before the world titles last year. Got to ride it for a few weeks, rode it in the competition, was an absolute blast and has helped me push my riding to the next level, that's for sure. So if you're after a lightweight, but really strong and durable scooter that looks different to pretty much every scooter on the market, then grab yourself one of these, support your boy, support Triad, would be much appreciated. That's gonna be it for the video today, guys. Make sure you leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button, find your way back for more videos and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Take it easy.